Hello, good day guys. So, ngayong araw, we will discuss operations on functions. Pag sinabing operations on functions, tayo ay mag-a-add, mag-subtract, mag-multiply, at mag-divide ng mga function. So, let's start. Given f of x equals x minus 1, g of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 4, and h of x equals x minus 4 all over x plus 1, and m of x equals 3x plus 2. Let's try to find out the following. Yan. So let's start with f plus g of x. <clears throat> f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. Now, the given f of x is x minus 1. And the given g of x is x squared minus 5x plus 4. So, ito, we are just adding two polynomials. So, let's try to rearrange that first. So, x squared, then positive x, negative 5x, negative 1, and positive 4. So, combining all the like terms we have, we copy x squared x minus 5x is negative 4x, and negative 1 plus 4 equals 3. So that's how you add two functions. So that is f plus g of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. How about the second one? We have f minus g of x. So that means f of x minus g of x. So the same procedure the given f of x is x minus 1, and the given g of x is x squared minus 5x plus 4. So, yun. So, ang gagawin natin, we just copy x minus 1, and then, kailangan may distribute yung negative sign sa loob ng parenthesis. So, negative times x squared is negative x squared. Negative times negative 5x is positive 5x. And then, negative times 4x, ah, uh, times 4, I should say, is negative 4. So, let's just rearrange that. So, negative x squared, positive x, positive 5x, negative 1, and negative 4. So, we copy negative x squared, and then x plus 5x is 6x, and then negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. Next. How about f over g of x? So that means f of x divided by g of x. So the given f of x is x minus 1. And the given g of x is x squared minus 5x plus 4. So ang technique dito, titingin muna tayo ng factors ng denominator. If you're going to factor that, you will have x minus 1 and x minus 4. You can verify that using FOIL method. Kailangan bumalik siya sa x squared minus 5x plus 4. So, meron tayong common factor. We have x minus 1 and x minus 1 dito. So, we can cancel that out. Because x minus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 1. So, we copy x minus 4 sa the ating denominator. So, f over g of x is equal to 1 over x minus 4. Next. How about m times g of x? From the word times, tayo ay magmultiply. So that means m of x times g of x. The given m of x is 3, 3x plus 2. And the given g of x is x squared times 5x plus 4. Simple lang. Parang usual lang yan na pag multiply ng, ng polynomials. We first multiply 3x sa loob dito, sa loob ng parenthesis. So, 3x times x squared is 3x cubed. 3x times negative 5x, negative 15x squared. Then, 3x times 4 is positive 12x. Ito naman yung 2. 2 times x squared, 2x squared, 2 times negative 5x, negative 10x, then 2 times 4 is positive 8. So, let's just combine all the like terms. 
we copy 3x cubed because we have a like term. And then negative 15x squared. And then 2x squared. So negative 15x squared plus 2x squared is negative 13x squared. And then 12x minus 10x is positive 2x. Then we copy uh, plus 8. So m times g of x is equal to 3x cubed minus 13x squared plus 2x plus 8. Next. That is m circle f of x. That means m of f of x. Ibig sabihin, yung m, ini-embrace niya na si f of x. Uh, itinapalit niya dun sa x dito. So, yung m, papalitan niya ng x ng f of x. So, we have 3. The given f of x is x times 1. So, ito yun. And then, plus 2. So, 3 times x, 3x. Three, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Then, plus 2. So, simplifying that, we have 3x. Then, negative 3 plus 2 equals negative 1. Next, how about g minus f of negative 2? So, that means g of negative 2 minus f of negative 2. Ibig sabihin, kailangan palitan natin ng negative 2 yung mga x sa g at f. So, we have the quantity negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2 and then plus 4. That's 4 g of negative 2 minus the given f of negative 2 we have. So, negative 2 minus 1 to. Ito na yun. So, let's simplify. The square of negative 2 is 4. Then, negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Plus 4 minus negative 3 minus 1. Parang ano yan? Negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. So, 4 plus 10 plus 4 is 18. So, negative of negative 3 or negative times negative 3 is positive 3. So, 18 plus 3 equals 21. Next, let's have g over h of 3x. O, ito na yun. Uh, ang ginawa ko dito, kukunin ko muna ang, ang simplest form ng g over h of x. Wala mo ng 3x. I-divide muna natin ang g at saka h. Yan. So, g over h of x equals g of x over h of x. So, the given g of x is x squared minus 5x plus 4. All over, the given h of x is x minus 4 all over x plus 1. Ito yun. So, to simplify that, we multiply the x squared minus 5x plus 4 sa x plus 1. Parang ganito siya. Ayan. So, x squared minus 5x plus 4, i-multiply sa x plus 1, all over x minus 4. Ngayon, tignan natin ito kung meron siyang factors na kaparehas ng x minus 4 para ma-cancel out. So, ang factors nito ay x minus 1 and x minus 4. As I have said a while back, you can verify it using for a method. Kailangan bumalik itong dalawang to sa x squared minus 5x plus 4. So, makikita natin dito na meron silang common factor. So, we can cancel that out. So, ang naiwan ay the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x plus 1. Using FOIL method, we will get x squared minus 1. At ito ngayon ang ipapalit natin sa g of sa g over h. Yun nga lang, yung x dito, gagawin natin 3x. Yan. So, x becomes 3x. So, the square of 3x minus 1. The square of 3x is 9x squared because 3x times 3x is 9x squared minus 1. That is now the final answer. And for the last item, we have g circle m of x plus 2. 
that means g of m of x plus 2 or g composed with m of x plus 2. So before doing that, ano muna ang value ng m of x plus 2? So that means, kailangan palitan natin yung x dito muna ng x plus 2. So equals 3 times the quantity, the value of x here x is x plus 2, then plus 2. So we have 3 times x, 3x, three, 3 times 2, 6, and then plus 2. So we have 3x plus 8. So, ngayon, ito ngayon ang ating ipapalit sa x ng g. Sa g. Ayan. So, that means your x value here will become 3x plus 8. So, we have the square of x which is 3x plus 8 minus 5 times 3x plus 8 kasi kailangan pala yung x nga and then plus 4. So, we have 3x plus 8 times 3x plus 8, then minus, so negative 5 times 3x, negative 15x, negative 5 times 8 is negative 40, and then plus 4. So using FOIL method, we can get the following, 9x squared plus 24x plus 24x plus 64, minus 15x, kinote ko lang to, minus 40 plus 4. So we have, 9x squared, so 24x plus 24x, 48x, minus 15x is positive 33x, and then 64 minus 40 is 24, yes, and then plus 4 equals 28. So m, circle m of x plus 2 is equal to 9x squared plus 33x plus 28. Thank you. Comment down below your questions.